Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 animals you probably never seen. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Even if you think you've seen everything there is to see in the world, there will always be something new to view. Even if you're a diehard animal lover, you can't possibly know everything there is to know about the 1,367,555 non-insect animal species that exist today. Furthermore, by the time you finish reading this article, new animal species may have been discovered, thus there will always be new surprises for us out there. Humans have barely explored 5% of the oceans, thus there are likely many more terrifying aquatic animals lurking beneath the waves. Here are the top 10 creatures you've most likely never seen. Number 10. Vampire Deer. Most people wouldn't put deer high on their list of creatures to be afraid of, but in some parts of the world, deer appear to be far more dangerous. This is due to their fangs. Male fanged deer grow enormous tusk-like teeth instead of big antlers during mating season, as do most deer. They jut out far below their jawline and are used as weapons during battles with other bucks or predators. These unusual critters are also known as vampire deer, but don't worry, they won't be stalking unsuspecting prey in the near future. They're herbivores, just like other deer. There are numerous fanged deer species in Asia, including the tufted deer of Southeast China and Munchaks, which can be found in India, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Taiwan, and even the Himalayan regions. They're also small and timid, and some species are threatened with extinction. Musk deer are extensively killed for their scent glands, which are utilized in perfume and traditional Asian medicine. The Kashmir musk deer, for example, was thought to be extinct until recently, when it was discovered in the wild for the first time in 60 years. Other species, such as the Chinese water deer, are also endangered, despite their widespread distribution in the UK. They were first held in captivity in 1873 at the London Zoo, but in 1929, a group escaped and began to colonize the British countryside. Their population has increased, and they currently account for 10% of all water deer on the planet. Number 9. Purple Frog. In the Nasica Batrachidae family, the purple frog is one of only two species. This family is only found in India's Western Ghats and has evolved independently for about 100 million years. Purple frogs are most closely linked to a family of tiny frogs found only on the Seychelles, according to molecular data. Following the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana, the two groups are assumed to have shared a common ancestor who became isolated on different landmasses. The purple frog was long neglected by science since it is a fossorial, burrowing, species, only being formally described in 2003 despite having a number of local names. The tadpoles have specialized sucker-like mouthparts that they utilize to cling to the algae-covered rocks where they eat, allowing them to survive in torrents. Locals eat the tadpoles, which are also utilized for medicinal purposes with the adult frogs. In some tribes, children are given a frog amulet to wear in order to help them cope with their dread of storms. The IUCN Red List classifies the purple frog as endangered, because it is threatened by deforestation caused by increased horticulture, as well as eating and harvesting by local tribes. This species is poorly understood, however it has fairly specialized nesting grounds. It is vulnerable to habitat loss and change due to its specialized breeding biology. The majority of purple frog breeding sites are found outside of the protected area network, and some breeding sites have been harmed by check dams built to manage water flow during strong monsoons. Number 8. Parrotfish. Parrotfishes are a group of roughly 90 fish species that belong to the ras family, Scaridae, or subfamily, Scarini. The Indo-Pacific has the most species in this group, with roughly 95 species. They can be found on coral reefs, rocky shores, and seagrass meadows, and they can help with bioerosion. A mucus cocoon is secreted by some parrotfish species, notably the queen parrotfish, Scarispetula, especially at night. Some species exude mucus from their mouths before going to sleep, generating a protective cocoon that envelopes the fish, presumably masking its scent from predators. This mucus envelope could also serve as an early warning mechanism, allowing the parrotfish to leave if predators like moray eels damage the membrane. Another mucus substance covers the skin, which may have antioxidant capabilities that aid in mending biological damage or repelling parasites, as well as providing UV protection. Number 7. 
The Blue-Footed Booby The blue-footed booby is a marine bird found in the eastern Pacific Ocean's sub-chosen feature. In an elaborate mating ritual, males lift their feet up and down while strutting in front of the female. The female is significantly larger than the male, reaching 90 centimeters, 35 in, in length and 1.5 m in wingspan, 5 feet. The blue-footed booby's natural nesting habitat is the Pacific Ocean's tropical and subtropical islands. From the Gulf of California to Peru, it can be found along the western shores of Central and South America. The Galapagos Islands are home to around half of all breeding pairs. It eats primarily fish, which it catches by diving and swimming beneath the surface in search of prey. It hunts alone on occasion, but mostly in groups. Number 6. Proboscis monkey. The proboscis monkey, Nasilis larvatus, sometimes known as the long-nosed monkey, is an arboreal old-world monkey with a long tail and an abnormally large snout. It is only found in the Southeast Asian island of Borneo, mostly in mangrove forests and along the island's coasts. Proboscis monkeys live in groups that usually consist of one adult male, a few adult females, and their offspring. There may also be all-male groups, some people, primarily males, live alone. In a fish and fusion society, monkey groups live in overlapping home ranges with little territoriality, with groups convening at sleeping areas when night falls. Number 5. Crocodile Fish. The blood of the blackfin icefish, often known as the crocodile fish, has a natural antifreeze that helps it survive in the frigid waters around Antarctica. Number 4. Fish with Teeth. The fish, which is assumed to be a South American pacu, is famous for its teeth, which eerily resemble human teeth. Despite their piranha affinity, pacus eat predominantly plants and are generally considered harmless to humans. They do, however, eat other fish on occasion and may thus outcompete native species or spread parasites or disease. Pacus are generally found in the Amazon and other South American river systems, but angler Ron Rossi snagged one over the weekend in Swedes Lake in southern New Jersey. Pacus are commonly maintained as aquarium pets, but at 44 pounds, 20 kilograms, and 3 feet, 1 meter, in length, they are too huge for most people to care for. Based on a snapshot, the species discovered in New Jersey appears to be only a few inches long. Number 3. Squid with teeth. The teeth aren't teeth at all, but rather circular, folded lips with only the upper and lower portions showing. It had a little razor-sharp beak deep inside its mouth which it utilized to slice and devour prey. Several physical traits distinguish it from comparable taxa nuchal fusion between the head and mantle, significantly larger arm suckers than club suckers, greater width of tentacle base than arm base, recessed club base, and presence of an aboral tentacle groove. Number 2. White Peacocks. The white peacock is not a distinct peafowl breed, but rather a peacock that was born all white due to a genetic mutation. White peacocks, on the other hand, are not albinos, as albinos have no pigment or very pale skin, as well as red or pink eyes. Blue eyes and pigmented skin are common in white peacocks. The white peacock is a stunning, uncommon, and captivating creature. Continue reading to learn more about this rare peacock variety. White peacocks have never been seen in the wild, and the color variation is only seen in captivity. This is likely due to the fact that white pigmentation would attract predators in the wild, therefore the recessive gene only evolved in the relative safety of captivity. Number 1. The Sarcastic Fringehead. Sarcastic Fringehead, as the name suggests, dwells off the coast of North America. When threatened, fringeheads will expand their mouths wide to defend themselves, making them look like the predator and attack with their teeth. Their hue is usually brown. Sarcastic fringeheads are a tube blenny species that prefers to hide behind shells or crevices, yet some have been discovered living in man-made things like a soda can. The male guards the eggs after the female spawns behind a rock or in clam burrows. They consume a considerable quantity of squid eggs throughout the spawning season. From San Francisco, California, to central Baja California, they can be found in the Pacific, off the coast of North America. They have a depth range of 3 to 73 meters, 10 to 240 feet. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.